will do whatever it takes to protect USA, continue to expand export controls on chips to CCP. On March 12, 2024, the U.S. Commerce Secretary traveled to the Philippines, leading a trade delegation on a visit to Manila. At a press conference there, the Commerce Secretary was asked about export controls on semiconductor shipments to China. The Commerce Secretary stated that this issue is under constant consideration as the U.S. continues to mull expanding export restrictions on chip exports to China. Given the rapid pace of technological change, the U.S. will persistently and continuously broaden these export controls, questioning every day whether current measures are enough. Beyond just semiconductors, the Commerce Secretary emphasized that the U.S. is also determined to prevent China's access to cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence that could bolster the Chinese military. The U.S. will continue selling billions of dollars worth of semiconductors to China, but none of these will be for use by the Chinese military. This makes it clear that in Manila, the Commerce Secretary took a hardline stance. The U.S. will spare no effort in imposing comprehensive sanctions and controls on any chips or related manufacturing equipment that could be used by China for military applications, such as hypersonic missiles or AI-powered combat systems. At the At the same time, the Commerce Secretary said the U.S. has no intention of decoupling the two economies while safeguarding America's most advanced technologies from being obtained by China. For military gain, economic ties between the two countries will remain intact. The Commerce Secretary revealed that new measures and restrictions are constantly being discussed and upgraded based on the latest intelligence as the U.S. works to tighten the noose on China's access to cutting-edge American tech. This visit by the Commerce Secretary was at the direction of President Biden, who has assembled a delegation of Arshar top U.S. company executives to travel to Manila. These firms plan to invest around a million billion in the Philippines. The Commerce Secretary stated that the Philippines is America's oldest treaty ally in Asia, and these investments will include training large numbers of Filipinos in high-tech skills to secure high-paying jobs. The Commerce Secretary Secretary emphasized that the U.S.-Philippines alliance is as strong as steel. With this partnership spanning T-shirt years, the U.S. remains a steadfast friend and an increasingly prosperous partner of the Philippines. In closing, the Commerce Secretary said the feeling of partnership is mutual, but President Biden acknowledges there is more the U.S. can do. The American president is currently inviting U.S. businesses to invest in over 198 plant infrastructure projects. In the Philippines, worth a total of 148 million billion. This news highlights a significant shift in U.S. strategy toward the Asia Pacific region, with the Philippines emerging as the critical linchpin. After decades of upheaval in Manila's relationship with Washington, the Philippines is now firmly back in the American orbit. Previously, the Philippines had chosen independence from the U.S., expelling American military bases and enacting laws prohibiting their return. This This led to an economic collapse, with the Philippines becoming synonymous with overseas Filipino workers as domestic industry stagnated. The Philippines had effectively been lost to the Soviet sphere of influence, with communist movements taking root. This was part of a broader pattern across Southeast Asia, where the U.S. was outmaneuvered by the Soviet Union and its proxies. However, the tide is now turning, with China's rise posing the paramount strategic challenge. Challenge, the U.S. can no longer afford to neglect key regional allies like the Philippines. Under the leadership of President Marcos, Manila has realigned firmly with Washington. This represents a critical reversal for American influence in the Asia Pacific. The Philippines, with its large population and expansive territory, is poised to become a vital hub for U.S. power projection against China. Rebuilding the Philippine economy and industrial base is now a top priority. For the Biden administration, the U.S. Commerce Chief's visit signals that Washington is deadly serious about choking off China's access to advanced American technology, especially anything that could enhance Beijing's military capabilities. Semiconductors are just the tip of the iceberg. The U.S. is determined to maintain a monopoly on cutting-edge technologies that could tip the scales in a potential conflict by anchoring the Philippines firmly within the U.S. strategic. 
strategic orbit, Washington aims to establish a powerful regional bulwark against Chinese influence. The economic investment and technology transfers are designed to transform the Philippines into an industrial powerhouse that can serve as a launching pad for American power in the Indo-Pacific. This realignment also carries profound ideological implications. China has long derided countries like the Philippines as examples of the failure of democracy by helping resurrect the Philippine economy and reasserting American influence there. The U.S. is demonstrating that democratic capitalism remains a potent force even in the face of China's authoritarian model. The road ahead will not be easy. China will undoubtedly seek to subvert and destabilize the Philippines just as it has done in the past. But the Biden administration appears committed to doing whatever it takes to secure this critical strategic foothold. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.